Hey, welcome to story time. If you have a copy of the It's All About Jesus Bible Storybook, please go grab it and bring it back so that you can follow along. And if you don't have a copy, that's okay too. Please just sit back and enjoy the story. Well, today we're reading this story, The Stolen Blessing. We are on page 36 of It's All About Jesus Bible Storybook. This story comes from Genesis chapter 25 and 27. Now, have you ever seen something that you really wanted? Maybe your brother or your sister or your friend had something and you didn't and you really wanted it? Well, that's kind of what happened in this story. Let's read to find out what they wanted. Jacob and Esau were brothers. Esau was a hunter while Jacob worked at home. Their father, Isaac, favored Esau. That means he loved him the most. Their mother, Rebekah, favored Jacob. One day, Jacob was cooking lentil stew when his brother came home from the field. Whew, I'm exhausted, Esau said. Let me eat some of that red stuff. Jacob answered, first, sell me your birthright. The birthright usually belonged to the oldest child. Whoever had the birthright got more of his family's belongings when his parents died. I'm so hungry, I'm about to die. So what good is a birthright to me? Esau replied. So he agreed to give Jacob his birthright for stew and bread. Do you think that was worth it? He traded getting all of these amazing things for a bowl of stew. Hmm, let's see. Now their father was getting old and losing his eyesight. Isaac called for Esau. I want to bless you before I die, Isaac said. Isaac asked Esau to bring back food from a hunt and cook it for him. Rebecca heard Isaac and Esau talking, and she came up with her own plans. She was kind of being sneaky. Go to the flock and bring me two of the best young goats, Rebecca told Jacob. I will make your father's favorite meal. Then take the food to your father to eat so that he may bless you before he dies. Jacob was worried that his father would know he wasn't Esau. Jacob had smooth skin, and Esau was really hairy. Rebekah put Esau's clothes on Jacob and covered his hands and neck with goat hair so that Isaac would think Jacob was Esau. Then Jacob took the meal to his father. So did y'all hear who Jacob is dressing up as? He's dressing up as Esau and pretending to be Esau and trick his dad. Oh boy. Let's see what happened. Who are you, my son? Isaac asked. I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done as you told me. Please sit up and eat some of my game so that you may bless me, Jacob said. Isaac asked Jacob to come closer, and he felt Jacob's hands. Now remember, what was on his hands? The goat hair, so he'd feel hairy. The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau, Isaac said. It's me, Esau, Jacob answered. So Isaac said, serve me and let me eat some of my son's game so that I can bless you. Then Jacob brought his father food and drink and he ate. After the meal, Isaac told Jacob to come closer. He kissed him and after smelling his clothes, Esau's clothes, Isaac offered him the blessing. The blessing included land, riches, and power. Then Jacob left. About this time, Esau came home from his hunt and cooked a meal for his father. When he offered the food to Isaac, his father told him that he had been tricked and Jacob had been given the blessing. Esau cried and begged his father to bless him too. But Isaac had nothing left to offer his son Esau. Esau was angry at his brother and he made a plan to kill his brother Jacob. But Rebekah sent Jacob away to her brother's house where he would be safe until Esau calmed down. Thanks for reading, Miss Mary Page. So Esau gave up a fortune, lots of money and land, for a bowl of soup. Who gave up his blessing for us? Do you know? Jesus. Jesus gave up his blessing for us and took the punishment that we deserve. What a gift. What a blessing. So boys and girls, if you'd like to do a craft to go with today's story, please check out our guide for kids on our website. We'll see you again soon. Bye.